I've been concerned for some time that Americans have uh, lost sight of the purpose of American foreign policy. They've forgotten why the United States created this international system after World War II in the first place. It was created to prevent a return to the breakdown uh, of order uh, that led to two world wars. Americans, I think, have lost sight of that fact. Therefore, they look at um, what America does to support this order, the expense of it, uh, the cost of it, sometimes in terms of lives lost. They look at that all in terms of expense without seeing any of the benefit. It's important to remember that this order that we've enjoyed, this period of the past 70 years where there's been a sort of explosion of democracy, an explosion of economic prosperity compared to the rest of history, and peace among the great powers, is an aberration. Nations have generally been almost constantly at war, uh, tyranny has been the norm, uh, and most peoples have lived in poverty. And it was made possible not by some evolution of the human spirit or because human beings have just gotten better, they behave better. I mean, there's a lot of, we ought to see a lot of evidence around the world that suggests that that's not true. We already see uh, sort of signs that democracy uh, is not enjoying the kind of support that it once enjoyed around the world. We already see the return of geopolitics. And even in the United States, we see the return of protectionist tendencies. Uh, so if the United States is not in the business of supporting that order, then all elements of it uh, that we've enjoyed will gradually go away and the world will return to normal. Uh, I think that we have this idea that what we have now is normal, but that's just historically not true. Normal is looks a lot more like uh, the early part of the 20th century and the 19th century and, and all previous centuries. The, the number of democracies uh, that have been established since World War II is, is so far beyond what we've ever seen before in history that it isn't right to regard it as the normal condition. Um, I think if we see the end of this order, uh, we will see democracy diminish uh, substantially around the world, including uh, in Europe and Asia.